I'm now joined by Moss Tramp down on the ploughing fields, but not just normal ploughing fields, we have horses here, don't we, Moss? So That's right, yeah. Well, the, the horses stand behind us here now, not my own, they're dead, the rain is like, but my ones will be up here shortly. It is just that this morning, the field where we're coming in with the truck, it's, it's a bit too wet to bring it close to where we're ploughing, so we have to to get the stuff right to the plot rather than we bring in the truck with the plot, you know. So, so how did you get involved with ploughing with horses? Oh, I started when I was about eight, 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 nine years of age. We used to work horses and we young fellas, you know, we in cutting hay and all that. And we did a bit of ploughing that time and we went away out of horses in, in, in um, about 70s. The, the 70s we went out of horses and we, we went with tractors and then in the late the, the mid 90s 1994 we went back into horse plowing out bring an old man up that used to do the plowing for Kerry here and he kept after me to like, get me going so eventually I stopped it and I'm at it since then now like again I've my my nephew Jonathan there he was plowing last year he was second in the under 40s last year and I'm trying, I've coached a lot of people in Ireland and everywhere I could and the more people I could get going while I'm able, the better, you know. And how many years have you been attending the National Plowing Championships? Uh, plowing here, I suppose I must be born to 20 years, you know, again. You know, I've been attending it with possibly 40 years, you know, but like again, uh, plowing, I'd say about 20, 20 odd years, I'd say more, like again, I can't give you a date, you know. But, which uh, is a it is a long a, a, a long a long period of time and like everything I ha I injured my shoulder there back a few years ago and it's just coming against me and I don't know am I going to have to give up I, I as simple as that and so there's one thing I did like and love doing but when when you're not able to just it is a thing that's making it hard on you you know but a bit more about your horses yes. So do you break them yourselves, or what's the yes, training we, program? Yes, we, 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 all my horses that we started with back in the old days, we had old type Irish draft, the heavy old type draft horse. And um, then when we went out of horses, I got loans of, they, they call them the Jarvis and Killarney, they kept the people around uh, the scenic routes. But they weren't used to pulling loads, you know, they were, they were good horses for their job, but they had, didn't pull weight, you know. and. We got a couple of years we had them and they, they were they were not really good enough, you know. And then I went away to France and bought, well, actually, a friend of mine in England, Tom Sampson, in down in Hampshire, Latimer St. Tom, he had Persian horses and I looked at them and they were a fine horse and I said, I, they were reminding me of my old type Irish draft type, you know. So I went out to France and I bought two mares that time and I put them in foal and brought them in and we trained them then and we worked them for a number of years and uh, the, what actually happened was then in, 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 we, we had falls off them and one of the mares uh, lightning struck the ground close to her and actually killed her you know so again and the other one got too old for working so I bought in uh, geldings and uh, one of them was an excellent horse we have him still working he'll be here soon and the other one he, he was he was very bad tempered so we got rid of him and we bought another one then the last one I bought uh, he's, uh, I, he's eight years old now he was a, he was a two year old when I bought him in from France so we trained him and broke him and working him you'll see him working here in in the next hour you know and what are judges looking for today the judges are always looking for a, a, a good straight work like you know and they're looking for there's different marks you see for everything you do like there is pack firmness weed control straightness appearance like this that's, that's there, there is about 10 different things i can't tell you even i looked at them the, the score sheets a lot of times but i can't tell you off my head which is which but judges even i mean in the judging panel myself what, what they're looking for is good work like you know and uh, that there is excellent lads here. Every one of them are good. That's that's here. Even that they're only and some of them are under forties, and some of them are near forty. And like everything, that some of these boys here are better than the than the, the, the myself. Do you know what I mean? And 
And are you competing over the next three days? Or? I'll be, he, Jonathan's working here today, you know, and I'm coaching him. And I'll be playing tomorrow, and hopefully Thursday, if, my, if, if I'm able. That's as simple as that. Well, best of luck for the upcoming week. Thank Sorry. you very much. Thank you, no problem. Cheers.